So what what do you think when you pulled up in the Uber? I I I my jaw dropped. I mean it's I, when I came around the corner, my jaw dropped. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's game time and I'm up one. How many bottles of coffee? So we're about building relationships. So I'm a team of the fastest growing brands for detailing products, chemicals, and buildings in the world. All right, guys, next weekly buffs coming up. We got a Mercedes 2016, pretty cool, S63 Coupe. I believe this is a V8 twin turbo. We're gonna be blacking out the grill, all the trim. The wheels are gonna get painted. Calipers are gonna be red. Wanted to give you guys some before. There's Josh, the man, the myth, the legend. walk around before we transform this car so all this cool trim that you see here and here uh, exhaust tips will stay the same um, the bottom pieces around the windows they're all gonna get blacked out but we wanted you guys to take a look at the car before we took the wheels off get them powder coated so Josh we could probably put this one on the lift All right, so we are unloading the AMG wheels. It's off of S63 in the shop. This is getting a bunch of work. Junior's got it. We're gonna wheel these in. These were silver, right? So what do you think about the black center cap? Do you like it? Yeah. Junior, you're gonna get your like first workout of the day and then go to the gym with Josh after work? Yep. That's the plan. You gotta make him eat more though. This boy's gotta eat. He eats a lot more than you think. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> That's why your rent's expensive, buddy, because you eat too much. Yeah. These are going on the Black S63. This is called Carbon Black. This is the actual paint code for Corvette C8 wheels. Going on this bad boy right here. Josh has got to figure out how to take off this bumper. I don't know if he's real excited about doing that, but he said he's going to try. Josh figures everything out usually. Usually. Oh, smart. This thing is already, look how dusty, dirty this is. We haven't started a paint correction on it because we're doing some other items. We're gonna be blacking out all this trim. This trim is gonna be blacked out. And the front bumper's gotta come off. That's what Josh is gonna do. But our boy Kyle at Industry Auto Collision, he's gonna paint this satin black because this customer wants a murdered out look and oh, you know what else I gotta order? I gotta order that Lux film for the headlights because Maxwell said that shit's pretty good. You want them black? He wants them black. Josh is a master of taking a few things apart. He took a Tacoma girl apart in about three minutes the other day. That was a good money for about three minutes. Oh yeah, easy. So Josh has almost got the bumper off you guys. Why are we doing this? Well, because there's chips in here paint chips just a few but we're gonna be blacking this out so we want to take and uh, paint that grill all right guys we are working on the mercedes amg s63 josh what is the pattern product combination on this car uh, it's kind of sloppy kind of going over the place 800 wool, 2000 microfiber, and orange pattern 3000. So, how many steps are we looking at? Three to four steps, maybe. To get it right, huh? Yeah. Here is the trunk before any paint correction. You can see it's pretty bad. And what steps did you do over here, Josh? Looks pretty good. So this was three steps. First step was wool pad 800. Second step was microfiber 2000 and orange pad with 3000. More aggressive pad, finishing polish. Yeah, the paint on the Mercedes Benz is super, super hard.
All right, guys, we are working on the AMG S63, and the paint is looking absolutely awesome. Um, we've already corrected it. It was three steps. And we've put on one coat of ceramic right now. We still got to black out the lights, chrome delete all the trim. I got to pick up film down below. All this is going to be chrome delete. But this thing had really gnarly scratches and different imperfections. And uh, it's going to make a great weekly buff. But they requested that we change the calipers from silver and a white logo to Ferrari red and a black AMG logo. So we wanted to show you guys the before the trans transformation. All right, so we got Jay here. He's the wheel Houdini and calipers. So tell him what you did here, buddy. Uh, we painted him, put the logos, cleared him. Ooh, that looks sweet. Look at that. Wait, wait. Yeah. So we got the AMG black logo on a red caliper. What red color? What is that called? That red? That's an R8 red, actually. But that's like the purest red out of all the reds. That's why we use the Audi R8 red. But it's pretty much done. Just got to do a little bit of a cleanup and uh, put the wheels on and ready cool. to ride. Man. All right, guys. So you saw the before and there's the after. All right, guys. So tell us what you think. Leave a comment in the box below. Woo. Man, those wheels are looking hot. Carbon black. Now, we still got a detail because we're going to have to wipe them down to clean them up. But, man, what a difference, huh? Let's talk about what are you going to do? So, I'm going to uh, do some tail light tint um, from Lux. Um, we're going to be doing some dark tint on these. So, it'll just kind of black it out and everything. And I'm going to cut out the, um, uh, uh, what is this called? The uh, reverse light so that it'll look um, like an OEM uh, dark tail light. Cool. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Let's show people how you do it. Do your magic, Maxwell Million. Anybody wants to know, just look up Chunk Monk on Instagram and you'll find this handsome Asian guy. <laughs> I'm gonna cut some material for it. All right, so we're putting the 3M um, satin black yep. on the bends, and Josh is going to be assisting. He's behind me. He's cleaning the counter. My chips drop. You know how to you know how to do this. But what? I'm learning. So I have to acknowledge. Oh, okay. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. This is my R Kelly. R Kelly. <laughs> You'd be the first okay. Asian man that's ever said he was R. Kelly. <laughs> All right, pull, pull hard. Not too hard, but... Uh, a little hard. tension. Yeah. yeah. I'll go, go past it. Yeah, go past it. More. All the way? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to put the bumper back on. It's been how long? Two what? weeks? Two weeks. Huh? He's not paying attention right now. He's got the vacuum on. Right. How long has it been since we put the, bu took the bumper off? About well, two weeks, right? Two weeks, right? So, so it's kind of, we got used to this thing like being off. It's like Transformer. But he wants to see JR. JR said he wanted to be in the video, so now he's in the weekly buff. But it took him like 20 minutes to get here because he had a cigarette, a pressure washer gun, and APC in his hand. See, you wanted to be famous on YouTube so you could show all the Hollies in Hawaii. Huh? Hollies. 
All right, guys, this morning we got the bumper back on. The bends. Josh dropped a lug nut in the engine compartment for the wheel. Don't ask me how I did it because I don't know. I don't even know how I did it. It's in here somewhere. And right now we're blacking out the center because the center has a chrome and a chrome stripe here, so we're blacking this out. And then Max is going to black out the emblem here with some vinyl. Going for the murdered out look. Um, this car's coming along. It's dusty, dirty right now. Josh is frustrated because he lost the lug nut. But Josh, I have faith in you. You'll find it. Josh is becoming YouTube famous. If you watched the Weekly Buff last week, he was on the C8 Corvette. I don't watch that. I watch that. See, he doesn't even watch his own content. I don't like seeing my own face. So right now, Josh is putting back the skin that goes underneath the bumper. What's that attached to, Josh? Is that to the floor pan? Here, the bumper is piece of here. So let's go see what Josh is doing underneath. It's a plastic piece that goes in over here. He's reconnecting all of this back together. Do you trust, do you trust the lift? I fucking hope so. <laughs> if it falls, it falls. It goes, smush goes like a bug. Yeah, just make it fast. So Max is cutting the bumper for the Mercedes right now. He's got this fancy monitor up so he can actually look. That's CAD. So that's a CAD design, ladies and gentlemen. That's an exact pattern for just this specific bumper. And this is our Graph Tech. And we're using SunTech PPF film and the needle. It's cutting out perfect design, like a puzzle, then Max will weed it before he installs the car. Answer emails, sell jobs. Take, take coffee orders. Coffee order orders, that, pizza that, orders. Pizza orders. Pizza orders. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Weekly Buck. We got a special guest this week. He's a former rock star, I mean rock star engineer. Would that yeah. be right? Uh, yeah, kind of. Right? He's behind worked, the scenes kind of guy. Behind the scenes, he's worked with every heavy rock band, pop band, jazz band. I mean, you've worked with them all, right, Dick? I've worked with a bunch. Made a bunch of movies, worked at all the theme parks, did rock and roll stuff. So he's got a lot of stories, and we don't have enough time in this Weekly Buff, but Dick, give a quick uh, background to who you are and where you came from in your industry and what you do. Uh, so, wow, my industry. I started uh, doing uh, like public display fireworks and uh, really enjoyed it. So and hold on a second, you like blowing shit up. I love blowing shit up. That's, so let's just keep it real, right? Let's keep it real. Um, and I've been doing it for a long time. I, uh, I actually, I started, uh, I worked here, uh, not here, but in California for uh, the gas company. And um, that was my job was to keep things from blowing up and burn it down. And uh, basically what I did with all my friends said anyway, I said I went to the dark side and I started blowing shit up. And but for, 
was for rock groups. For rock groups. Um, my God. So, so maybe some of your favorite bands you worked with, and some oh, of the oh, geez, well, these, these, these I mean, obviously celebrities. The Stones, obviously. The um, um, Nickelback, ACDC, Michael Jackson. Um, Hold on a second. Did you get to meet Michael? Yeah, and the monkey. And the monkey. And the monkey. God, this is gonna have to be part two of the weekly bug. Bubbles. Bubbles. That was the monkey's name. Bubbles. Bubbles. Everybody, check out Google Bubbles. Bubbles. And Michael Jackson. Yeah, the other and check out his truck. He has the bubbles. The bubbles. The monkey has a 53 foot tractor trailer yeah. that is custom, blown out to the to the max. Yeah. Thing has a spa in it. It's got a jungle gym. This is where the monkey lives. It and not a tour bus. It is a is a tractor trailer. It's amazing. So this monkey lives like a rock star. Lives like is a rock star. Is a rock star. He is a rock star. All right. So we got to get back to your car. Okay, back to the car. So guys, we'll do part two of this. So tell them about the year, make a model of the car, and tell them how you and I started our relationship and how this journey evolved into a lot of different things on this car. Uh, well, it's a uh, 2016 uh, AMG uh, uh, S63. Um, I bought this car. Before I got into Rich, probably, well, I actually I had it a few weeks. Um, had it for two days, drove it to Texas, went and visited my daughter, made sure she liked it. She loved it when she drove it. Um, and decided after coming home and chasing tumbleweeds halfway across Texas that I needed to do something to protect the car and protect the paint. Uh, I've had several black cars. I still own a black truck. And they're really hard to take care of. So I wanted to get as much protection on the paint as I could. And Rich is the guy to do that. Um, but we started off with a black blank canvas. The car had silver trim as you guys see in the video. Um, the wheels were silver, the calipers were silver. Um, we went, we went, everything was silver. Everything was silver. Was silver. So basically we murdered it out, right? We did a little bit of a kin dig it kind of like Badass whip, badass ride, totally, right? Totally, right? Yeah. And so this was a transformation beyond. That's why we call it design, not just detail studio, because we help people and their vision of what they want and their personality for their car to be unique. We probably sat for what two hours? Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy two hours discussing what we were gonna do. And at the end of it, it's like, okay, let's what do you want to prioritize? What would you like to do first? And I said, Well, hell, I want to do it all. Yeah. I mean, Guys, there was no selling involved. He was already convinced. No, I was Watch. convinced. He was already convinced when he came that he was gonna have us work on the car. So we had to really map out this whole project. Josh, Maxwell, uh, Jesse, the whole crew here, uh, Industry Auto Collision, we all chipped in to build your dream. It's it right there. That's and, it right there. And so, guys, this is important. You gotta nail expectations. When customers come in, you gotta see their vision in order to make them happy. And that's what we do here at Glossett. So, what do you think about the final outcome with this project? I'm totally impressed. To I'm very, very impressed. I love the car. Um, one of the things that Rich and I were talking about, and his, one of his ideas was no badges. I said, I like badges. I, I, I like the little emblems that were on the side of the car. Now that I see it without them, I like it. Mm. It's very clean. It does look good. So um, I'll tell you, I, I think uh, the collaboration between the two of us, man, you've made an incredible. So here's our question, Josh, Dick, what's the next project? Let's do it. Um, I got an old truck you could probably try to bring back to life. Oh, here we go, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So. Thanks for joining us Weekly Buff. Be sure to follow us, ring the bell, leave a comment. We're always looking for new projects and make sure you shout out to the team here, Josh, Jesse, and Maxwell. They did a great job on executing this. Without them, I couldn't have completed this project. And Dick, thank you. It's time to drive. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Stay tuned and be sure to like or subscribe or ring the bell if you like this video. We'll see you next week.